Oligohydramnios is when you have low amniotic fluid during pregnancy. Amniotic fluid is a water-like fluid that surrounds your baby in your uterus. It protects your baby from infection and umbilical cord compression and cushions their movements while they're in your uterus. Amniotic fluid also helps develop your baby's digestive and respiratory system, as well as regulates their temperature. You may not know you have low amniotic fluid. However, your healthcare provider may suspect it if 1. You're leaking fluid from your vagina. 2. Your uterus measures small. 3. You don't feel your baby move enough. 4. You're not gaining enough weight. You're also at an increased risk for low amniotic fluid if you've had low amniotic fluid in prior pregnancies. Low amniotic fluid in the first six months of pregnancy is generally more dangerous. These complications could include 1. Deformities caused by being compressed in your uterus. 2. Preterm birth. 3. Miscarriage. 4. Stillbirth. 5. Infection if your water has broken early. Ultrasound offers a rapid, non-invasive way to evaluate amniotic fluid. Sonographic assessment can be qualitative or semi-quantitative. The maximal vertical pocket, MVP and four-quadrant amniotic fluid index, AFI are semi-quantitative methods with established reference range is common in clinical practice. Performing a diagnostics ultrasound in pregnancy requires real-time scanning. For subjective fluid measurement in the first trimester of pregnancy, intracavitary transducers may be used. Most amniotic fluid assessments will occur in the second and third trimester and utilize a transabdominal approach with a curvilinear transducer, able to provide greater 3 MHz. The patient should be positioned supine with the transducer perpendicular to the floor and coronal to the patient. Amniotic fluid is produced and processed largely by the fetus. Two main methods are used to communicate amniotic fluid levels. The amniotic fluid index, or the maximal vertical pocket. Adequate amounts of amniotic fluid are necessary for normal fetal development, and alterations can indicate an underlying disease process affecting the pregnancy. This activity reviews the sonographic evaluation and interpretation of amniotic fluid levels and highlights the interprofessional team's role in evaluating and treating abnormalities in amniotic fluid levels. To obtain the maximal vertical pocket the entire uterus is scanned and the pocket of amniotic fluid with the greatest vertical length is identified. Vertical calipers are used to measure the depth in centimeters of amniotic fluid, which will appear hypoechoic on ultrasound. The literature interchangeably refers to this as the single deepest pocket, or occasionally the deepest vertical pocket. These pockets of amniotic fluid must be at least one centimeter in width to be considered valid pockets. When measuring the depth of a pocket, the calipers should not cross any fetal body part or portions of the umbilical cord, as this may exaggerate the size of the pocket. To obtain the amniotic fluid index, the same process above is repeated four times. With the uterus divided into four quadrants and the umbilicus as a central point, each quadrant's largest vertical pocket is identified and measured. The criteria above apply to the pockets obtained in each quadrant. The measurements are added to obtain the total. Complications during the sonographic assessment of amniotic fluid index or maximal vertical pocket are minimal. When performing the ultrasound, patients may experience discomfort with the pressure from the ultrasound probe or lightheadedness from the gravid uterus's compression on the vena cava in the supine position. A rolled towel under the patient's flank to provide left lateral tilt may improve venous return and improve symptoms. Normal reference ranges for the amniotic fluid index vary depending on if the 5 to 95 or 3 to 97 percentiles are applied. For single gestations above 20 weeks, normal fluid is noted as an amniotic fluid index between 5 to 24 centimeters, although some references prefer 25 centimeters as the upper limit. Maximal vertical pocket in single gestation pregnancies is considered normal when measured to be between 2 to 8 centimeters. It is important to note that only maximal vertical pocket is used to assess the amniotic fluid volumes in multi-gestation pregnancies. 
In a deamniotic pregnancy, the maximal vertical pocket is measured in each amniotic sac, allowing the clinician to attribute fluid to each fetus. Although the normal range for twins is closer to 2.2 to 7.5 cm, it is conventionally defined normal as between 2 to 8 cm. Oligohydramnios is thus diagnosed when amniotic fluid values fall below normal cutoffs. Thanks for watching.